Hi Virgo, welcome back. So Virgo, uh, this is going to be a reading for mid-month June into the beginning of July, so about the next two to three weeks time frame. Um, this is a love reading, so um, and it's a you versus them. So I'm going to pull cards on you, Virgo, what your hopes, fears, next steps are. Then I'm going to pull cards on the person you're dealing with, what their hopes, fears, and next steps are. Um, keep in mind that love can encompass a lot of different things. Some of you, this is going to resonate with maybe an intimate partner. Some of you, an ex. Some of you, a family member, friend, coworker, you name it. Um, take it as it resonates, but... Uh, I hope you enjoy. Please do check out my social media account links down in the description box below. And don't forget to give me a like and subscribe. So, Virgo. Overall mutual energy is the Ten of Cups. Ooh la la, I like that. Um, the Ten of Cups in this deck talks about home. There might be a very heavy focus on the home. But I also see the Ten of Cups as like the family card, emotional fulfillment. Um, it's a beautiful energy to have and to start out the reading with. So I like that. Um, your overall energy uh, right now is the sun. Beautiful. Some of you could be dealing with the sign of Leo. Of course, not all of you. If you're not, then this is your energy, uh, Virgo. And it is... Um, you know, a light, happy, optimistic energy. It is literally like, you know how good you feel when you feel the sunshine? Yeah, that's what I'm saying. <laughs> I like it. Person you're dealing with energy is the Eight of Pentacles. Um, this person, it, this is a work vibe. So they may be working a lot, just quite literally. And or they might be you know, heavily focused on their money or working on themselves, a hobby, a craft, something of that nature. If it's to deal with the relationship, then I feel like this person does want to work with you, work on things with you, but we'll see. I'm going to keep it general and then I'm going to get more specific at the end. How you view this person? Virgo, you have the High Priestess and the Nine of Pentacles here. Cover that up. Um, the Nine of Pentacles is a very different message in this deck than a traditional tarot deck. But, um, you know, <laughs> there's, a, there's a message here about like, wow, you're dreaming about the, your coin. This person's obsessing over you. Or vice versa. <laughs> it's a bit of an obsessive vibe. I'm not going to lie here. And this isn't how you view them. Now, the high priestess is someone who keeps secrets. So this might this person might have like some secret, secret obsessions or secret addictions. Um, that's interesting. That's an interesting message. I'll clarify that one. I feel like uh, this person's in this energy of... I don't want to say secretive. I just feel like maybe this person doesn't speak up or... Um, say everything that they know or something to do with that. I'm going to have to clarify that. That's a very interesting. How they view you, Virgo, King of Wands, Six of Pentacles. Um, they view you as fiery, you know. This is a, a very mature, masculine energy, um, really whether you're a male or female. So I do feel like, and I also heard sarcastic. <laughs> they may view you as sarcastic. Um, and then with the six of pentacles here, I feel like, again, this person is in a very cooperative energy. So I feel that you guys, you, you guys are on the same page for the most part. I think this person sees you as, um, someone that they can have a balanced relationship with, or that they can have equal give and take with. Towards the end of June. 
right. Oh, wow. I did not want that many cards. Four of Cups. Eight of Swords. The Death card. The Scorpio energy there. Three of Swords in the reverse. Um, on a very literal level, there could be gossip here towards the end of the month, particularly dealing with a Scorpio. Okay, that's not going to be all of you or air sign. On a more energetic level, this speaks about kind of being stuck in your head, you know, feeling a little bit indifferent at times. Um, I feel like you may have, you know, had your heart hurt in the past. Um, quite literally in the love arena, but I feel like there's a quietness here. I keep getting that in all of the zodiac signs. There's, there's a quietness here. So, um, I'm going to clarify those. I do see with the three of swords in the reverse, some healing energy. So that's good. Whoa. Okay. Oh my gosh. And the high priestess. <laughs> you have the ace of swords and the seven of swords. I don't like those. I don't like that combination. This is in this person's energy. There's definitely gossip here. I keep seeing this in your readings, Virgo. Some of you have uh, surrounded yourself with some people that are not for your highest good. Okay. Because it keeps perpetuating in the readings there is uh deception gossip but the truth is going to come out oh it'll be spoken likely by the person you're dealing with here but let me clarify all of these and we'll get a clearer picture of what's going on yep it's the sun These cards just want to fly out. Wow. Okay. Where did I see him as the nine? Oh, wow. Seven of swords again. And it's over how you view them. Like I said, whoever you're dealing with, Virgo, you might have trust issues with this person or they might. They hide, uh, they hide things from you, but you're aware of it. Your intuition has picked up on it. Where's the seven of swords here? This got very interesting, <laughs> very interesting, very fast. Here you are, a hermit. Two of rods, the star. Okay, I think I have enough cards out. So, like I said, here's the good news, Virgo. Whatever this is, you're looking good, okay? You are the sun for the next two weeks and the empress male or female. This is someone who's not going to let 
uh, bullshit like this, this piddliness that's going on over here, this gossip here, not going to let that affect them. Or at least you're not going to let the world see it. Um, because that's the overall face that you will give. Okay, this is an unaffected person. Not going to affect my happiness. No, not one bit. Not the next two weeks, Virgo. That's how you're feeling. That's a good stance to take. Now, the person that you are dealing with over the Eight of Pentacles, uh, they have the Two of Cups, Queen of Wands. Uh, you have the King and the Queen out of Wands. So this is likely for a lot of you, this is a partnership that you're currently in. Okay. Um, but take it as it resonates. Not going to be for all of you. Either way, there's a very, very strong connection here. The Two of Cups I always see as someone that you feel is your soulmate. For a few of you, this person, I'm going to go into this. I'm, I'm actually going to finish this one, and there's a small group of you here where there's a third person here, but stick with me. Overall, I feel like this person wants to work on your connection. Why? Because they feel a very strong um, bond with you. Now, here's where it gets interesting. <laughs> you view this person as covering up uh, obsessions, addictions. Um, uh, I heard childhood trauma. This person that you're dealing with might have had some heartache and I don't know why I heard childhood trauma or that popped into my mind, but it did. But it has somewhat affected this person and how they trust people. It affects how they are emotionally. So, um, and you see that in them. Very interesting. Now, like I said, they see you as being somewhat more stable or confident. Yeah, and as I say that, the King of Pentacles. Than they are. I wouldn't be surprised if you take the lead in this relationship dynamic, Virgo. I really wouldn't. But towards the end of the month, here's where things get interesting. So this is all good, you know. I feel like, yeah, you know this person has been hurt, you know. For some, for a few of you, there's another situation here with a third party, and I'm going to get to that in a minute. But you, you know this about this person. Okay. Now, at the end of the month, over the Four of Cups, Eight of Swords, I have the Hermit. That's you. The Two of Wands, the Star. So whatever this indifference, this gossip, you know, this icky energy is, I feel like underneath that, there's a healing energy. There is going within. There is, some of you are trying to... Some of you, this is the weirdest message. Some of you are trying to predict the outcome of something. Well, you're at a tarot reading, so. Um, but what does that have to do with gossip? <sighs> okay, yeah. So it's this energy of connecting the dots through gossip or through like bits and pieces here what you're picking up here and there and um putting the pieces together and why is that going on well you have the death card here and the three of swords in the reverse um i think that whatever the situation is there's a lot of emotion involved. It's a very heavy, heavy, heavy emotion. And uh, there's karma here. I just had a song pop into my head by Kiana Ledes. I think I've seen it. It's called Fair Play. 
Karma, how you like that karma? Yeah, that's just fair play. Wee -oo, wee -oo, wee -oo. Go check that out. How you like that karma? <laughs> Virgo, I don't, I feel like that's you saying that to someone. How you like that karma? Okay, well, that's just fair play. What goes around comes around. Wow, 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 wow. I feel like that's your energy, Virgo. For a very few of you, someone could be saying this to you. Now, I wanted to know what this person's energy is to try and put the picture together a little bit more clear. And over the Seven of Swords, I have the Five of Swords in reverse. Somebody, uh, who, somebody's trying to get the one up here. That's the Ace of Swords. I gotta hear that song. I love that song. Hierophant. This is to deal with the relationship for a lot of you. A commitment. Mm hmm. Okay. So, Virgo, I've been seeing this in your readings, and so I'm going to say it. Some of you have a partnership here. You're very optimistic about. You're feeling fulfilled in, okay? And I feel like um, there might be people here or a person here that gossips a lot. They might be at a distance from you. And for some reason or another, it's showing up towards the end of the June. But I feel like your energy is just like I said it is, you know. Like what goes around comes around. Maybe this person doubted you in the past. Maybe this person tried to get your man, you know, <laughs> or your woman. Um, something to do with that. And it's like... Now you're shining, Virgo. You know? And you're coming at it of the stance of like, well, that's just how the game is played. You know what I'm saying? And it's it's all it's a kind of a cold stance. <laughs> that's for a few of you. Now, if you're if you're in a long-term relationship, then I don't feel it's that somebody's competing. I just feel like there's an interference here, okay? There's a sense of heaviness, um, but we're ending that phase. We're going into a new phase, okay? The thing is, is that we need that you need to speak truthfully with your partner, or they you, because there is a suppression here of past hurts, and you might not even have been the one that caused the past hurt, but it's here. And so I feel like there will be a need to uh, communicate about that because I feel like if you're partnered here that you want a commitment or they want a commitment, okay, and a strong partnership. And they, they will, you know, they don't want any bullshit. This is getting so complex. So to make it more complex, there's a small group of you here where there's a third person involved. Okay, so going back to those of you that felt like, well, that's just fair play, there could be a third, there could very literally be a third person involved. Doesn't always mean cheating, just means involvement of some sort. Um, like there's someone here who has a connection to you and, and a connection to someone else. And I, I definitely feel like it's the person you're dealing with that has a connection to two different people. Uh, Virgo, you, there may be gossip about this that you're aware of, but kind of keeping it to yourself, keeping yourself at a distance. Um, because... You want to avoid an ending. You want to avoid drama, etc. Um, 
this person that you're dealing with in that case if there's a third party there is deception here you know um but i don't see like cheating does that make sense so whatever the deception is like they may lie and say that they don't feel as strong of a connection with someone as they do but i don't feel like it's completely deceptive I feel like it's coming from a stance of they want you to feel like they're all in with you because I act because I feel like they are you know all in with you so it's not like listen everybody lies and um I, I you know sometimes people lie because they don't want to hurt your feelings or they don't want to make you paranoid or whatever but it's not with ill intention and that's kind of what I'm getting that's kind of what I'm getting <laughs> um why because this person sees you in a very positive light this person wants to work on things okay yeah there might have been hurt yeah there might be a meddler here I definitely see that either way um, and it's being covered up your intuition is already picked up that it's being covered up but at the end of the day Virgo your stance is you know well that's just fair play <laughs> you know It's a very, um, it's a very Virgo thing to do. <laughs> I love you, Virgo. It's like, well, you know what? I don't fight for nothing. You want me? Here I am. You don't? Bye-bye. You know? <laughs> it's a very unemotional stance. It's a very practical. That's the word I wanted to hear. Practical. It is a very practical approach to it. It's not an overly emotional approach on the surface. Now, underneath it, is there a lot of emotion? Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. But what are you showing? Like I said, you're showing the sun. You're showing the confidence. Because at the end of the day, what's most important to you is your family, your home, your emotional stability. And like I said at the beginning of the reading... Ain't nobody going to come between you and that because you won't allow it to. And that's a good stance to have. I like this reading for you, Virgo. I like it, like it, like it. If you're not doing that, then FYI, that is the guidance to never let someone shake your confidence and how you feel about yourself. Okay. Signs you could be dealing with. Like I said, I have um, Leo, I have Aquarius, I have Scorpio, Taurus. And Fire, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. Those could be placements in your chart or the person you're dealing with. And or it could just be the energy you're embodying this month. This is general reading, so take it as it resonates. Either way, I wish you all of the very best. Thank you for joining me. Please come back again. I love you. And until next time, namaste.